Hi everyone, today I would like to tackle my pantry a little bit. I actually don't have a real pantry, I just have some shelves and cupboards that I just keep my food in, besides the fridge, and I'm not unhappy, but there's still some clutter. I am trying to move to a more waste-free lifestyle, meaning I try to minimize all the packaging, and so I try to buy in bulk, and by doing that it's really cool because you can put just everything in glasses however i still have a bunch of packages and it's just kind of a mess and you have all those opened packages with beans and rice and lentils and so the situation right now is like this i like this shelf a lot we keep cereals there and some dried goods there but i think i still can minimize a few things to where i don't need as much space for like those baskets there i think they look pretty but i actually need the storage space for food and i got this shelf right here and i don't know it's just a little messy and i would like to clean this up a little and also i got this drawer here which is <laughs> a little cluttered i know where stuff is but i don't know it's not working really well because to me, when I see things much better, when everything is more uniform, like in, you know, glasses that all look the same, I don't know, I just have better ideas of what I can make and where I wanna make. So since I basically just use a lot of dried goods, um, just wanna fix this a little bit. And then I got this right here, and this is, oh, I got some peppermint hanging there that I'm drying, I wanna make tea out of. Uh, this is kind of like, I don't use this much much pasta. This is all pasta and stuff, which I don't even use that much anymore. And uh, baking stuff, I don't need that much baking stuff anymore either. And like, it's just a bunch of stuff that I don't really use. And so why should I keep it? And this right down here is just kind of a mess. Uh, it's kind of overflow. And I, I'm kind of, that's the worst right here. And so I'm gonna try to tackle this a little bit today and see what I can do to make this a little bit nicer to where I can find stuff. day and as I was going through everything yesterday and putting everything into containers I realized that I don't have enough glasses I first actually wanted to use up all the mason jars that I have already because I had a lot and I just kind of want to put them to use but I don't quite have enough so I'm gonna just have to run to the store and get a few more it is so hot it's the hottest day this year so far I think yes she's so hot but I decided we're gonna go to Ikea. Romy loves Ikea because this is the last year she's allowed to go into that playland, that play thing that they have for kids. I think it's up to seven and I think starting at eight you can't go there anymore. So see what we can find at Ikea. Can you see this? It's 37 Celsius. That is pretty hot especially for Germany. So I'm glad the AC is working. <laughs> I'm just taking a shortcut because so all I need is just the storage stuff. There we go. 
I really like these actually and they got them in different colors. I think I need this size right here and uh, maybe I'll take a few of this also. Let's see, I think I need it in this color right here. I love this color. <laughs> it's my favorite color, yay! I love this right here. It's a glass container and it has a wooden, I think it's bamboo lid. And it's actually got this, um, it's got the seals. I love that actually. made it back home and it's a disaster area I'm just taking all the containers and trying to put stuff in them and it's I don't know it's the kitchen it's just a disaster area right now but I'm trying my best to sort out things to put things in containers and to make it look pretty so it's taking much longer than I've thought and anticipated so much stuff and this is just the food in my house it's just kind of crazy so um yeah i'm just gonna continue a little longer and then i will finish and show you the end result i'm quite happy with the way it turned out i think it looks clean and i can see everything i can find whatever i want to and it just makes me happy to look at it really happy with the result it took a while but I think it was well worth it. I got the cereals toward the left. I reduced there a little bit because we don't really eat that much cereal except for Romy and some pasta and uh, protein powder that I use every day. Some lentils and other legumes, seeds, coconut, raisins, things that we use often couscous and cocoa and it's so great to now grab everything and be able to just see and be creative just because I see what I have cacao nibs I absolutely adore and love so much and all my seeds to put onto my smoothie bowl sometimes and I got the toaster on the bottom because it's just easy to grab and I use it on a daily basis. It's in the box because of the crumbs that always tend to fall out. Quite happy with the result. Love the glasses and the white shelf. I think it looks nice. I got the oils and vinegars on the top shelf and my French press. Uh, there's gotta be some spaghetti on the left glass and my coffee cup on the right and my wooden cutting boards on the bottom. Here's the drawer, quite happy with it also. All the dried goods in the glasses, so easy to see what's in them. I didn't have to label all of them, just a little bit. Some things look very similar. Got some of the liquids and syrups and uh, spice sauces in the boxes, so just in case there's any spillage. And my nut butters are in the other box. There is the next cupboard and put all the lasagna in a box. I don't know why we had so much lasagna, but it's so much less stuff it seems like. Although I didn't really get rid of that much, but it's so much cleaner. Baking goods, I did sort them out. It's still two boxes, but now it's really easy to get to. One for all the little muffin tins and stuff and the other one for decorations. Kids love that, of course. And the next door is actually all the sugary stuff. Got uh, brown sugar, powdered sugar, different kinds, light brown, dark brown, and some syrups also that I use for baking sometimes. And uh, Romy's beloved Mac. It's like a Nutella, but it's chocolate and milk cream mixed in. She likes that. And in the next drawer I have different flowers that I keep. I sometimes use rye flour or spelt flour for baking bread. And some extras there, just extra packages of sugar and flour. 
and an extra package of sea salt. And there's so much less stuff now. I'm just gonna use this drawer for stuff I may need it for, so not a lot. Nice and clean, not too much clutter anymore. It just makes me happy to look at it right now. Just when I walk into my kitchen, which to me is the most important room in the house because I spend so much time in the kitchen and I enjoy it. And my bread is actually up on top there because I didn't have any more space and all the breads and there's some pretzels on there. And this is one cupboard that I showed in another video a long time ago. It's all the sweets and treats and dried fruits and nuts that I keep up there so that the kids can't get to it uh, just whenever I give it to them. And on the top of my kitchen, there's actually a bunch of baskets that just hold the overflow. So overall, I'm really, really happy with it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have not subscribed, please do subscribe and come back for more and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.